Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. As you can see, I am bringing you guys a brand new fighter request. We are using Darren Tell in the welterweight division facing George St. Pierre. As he lands a leg kick starting things off. You guys have requested that I use Mr. Till quite a bit. Wow. Starting things off, he goes for a clinch. We we're able to deny that one. So this dude is telling me right away he wants to grapple. Nope. Let's just make sure that we keep the fight standing. We do not want GSP on top of us. He's got very high grappling stats. And his striking is not bad either. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the Ouch. Damn, he lands that twice. That's a pretty good combo he's throwing. That, that uh, jab followed by the head kick from the same side. And he is staying so close to me and just blasting away at combos. That boy is aggressive. That dude is aggressive with GSP. <laughs> Look at look at look at this. Wow. Just over three minutes now to go. Man, he is throwing so many different strikes at me. Different like height levels. He's throwing to the head, he's throwing to the body. I mean he's mixing it up pretty good, even though he's staying right in close. See what I mean? He goes to the body, goes to the head. This right here is how you get rocked. As he lands a head kick again. I mean, this dude is, his style is very risky. Like, he's, it's very risky, all the stuff he's throwing. He can get really rocked, really bad. But it's also very high reward stuff. I mean, a lot of these head kicks he's throwing, it only takes one to get a nasty rock on me. He's throwing some hard shots now. We're blasting at his legs, blasting back at his legs. See if I can keep landing that one, two. Damn, man, we just exchanging here. Honestly, after a while, I'm just going to get sick of this dude pushing me, and we're just going to stand in front of him. As you drop him right there, that was quick. Watch the shot here, Joe. Hard straight punch. You guys have asked me. Oh, wow, wow, look at that. He goes for that double. Able to defend against that circle. Yeah, you guys have asked me, why don't I circle like I used to in UFC 2? I mean, the simple answer is it's not as, it's not as easy as it was in UFC 2. Nowhere near. Actually, like, trying to lunge, you know, circling away from the cage. Using your lunges in this game is so dangerous, man. I don't even, I don't even try it anymore. I miss it. I really miss it. I used to be able to just, you know, dance around a cage, use footwork, you know, evade shots. Doing that right now is so difficult, so hard. Beautiful leg kick. He landed right there. As he rock him right there. Dropped. Has he even rocked me? I don't think I've been rocked so far. Man, that's that's kind of... It's crazy that I've not been rocked yet with all the strikes he has landed as he lands a nasty head kick right there. Oh my god, I was just talking about I have not been rocked and I get dropped. I knew it was only a matter of time, honestly. Rock him again. Missed that one. A Superman punch from GSB. Haven't seen that one in a while. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he has shown an increased susceptibility to that strike here tonight. Damn. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. St. Pierre's at Every time he creates space, I get worried he's gonna fire off a head kick. Yeah, he's getting lit up here. Okay, dude, I'm kind of, I'm getting, I'm getting sick of this. I'm getting sick of being pushed right here. Bring it, bring it. Let's go. Oh, a huge 
clock there. It appears the cut on his cheek is getting Time to stand in front of each other. Let's do it. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control. Of this dude is going to get round. KO'd. A nice punch <laughs> by GSP. Oh, good combination. Big punches. Whoa. That was a big left hand he connected with. He does not look. Right there, he's rocked. He's rocked. And this fight's done. <laughs> Uh man, like I was telling you guys in the last video that I posted with Francis and Ganu, a lot of times when you run into these players who push you and push you and push you, they are so used to everyone backing up and they thrive when you keep backing up non-stop because they can stand so close to, to you and while you're focused on backing up, they're landing shots over and over again. A lot of times when you stand directly in front of them, they start to spaz. I mean, that dude started to really, really spaz and I, I saw the openings right there. I just, I knew it was only a matter of time before I was going to KO that guy. But um, yeah, that's it. That is it for the first one against GSP. Too bad that fight ended up like that. Let's get one more fight. I'm gonna get one more fight with uh, with Darren Till, and uh, I'll be right back with you guys very shortly. All righty, next one is against Jorge Masvidal, who is actually at this at this moment. He is probably my favorite fighter to use in the welterweight division. I just love his boxing. I love his stance. He just he feels he, he feels incredible to me as he touch gloves. Hopefully my opponent wants to play a realistic game right now. So far he's kind of keeping his distance. We're gonna try to work his legs. Right there we land. Okay, that dude is starting to read my duck. He's reading it. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. I figured. Still risking it though. What I what I want to do is duck under those hooks he's throwing. See that? That jab, lead hook. I want to duck under that. Not even necessary to, to counter. I just want to make him miss, make him whiff, make him waste stamina. He's throwing a beautiful lead straight, though. God damn. Man, his timing on these uppercuts are quite good. He's rocked me already, which means he has an advantage right now. Right there. That's what I want to do. Just duck on the that, make him make him whiff. Not even have to counter. Fainting with that kick. Look at that. He's timing that jab. Again. Beautiful. Huge kick misses. That kick missed for some reason. Hit him with the jab. Oh my god. Again. Man, that dude is landing that uppercut in a very brilliant way. I gotta respect that. He's really timing me as I duck down with that uppercut. That's some kinetic energy shit right there. Oh! Misses a huge hook to the head. Gamebred gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Players who can do that are so dangerous, man. He's checking every single one of those. But I think we can make it work. I really think we can make it work. Right there as I rock him. Dropped. No, not yet. Right here. Bam! He's dropped. <laughs> I thought the first one was going to drop him. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I have the advantage. Oh, my God. If I catch you, if I catch you ducking under... Going to my body, man. I catch you with an uppercut, bro. Looking for the high kick. Wow, is next. It's amazing, man. As this game progresses, you start to notice very slight patterns in opponents. And really good players do that very well. They, you know, you do one thing, 
they register it. Okay, he's ducking, which means that's what he favors. I'm gonna go for an uppercut. Okay, I see him go for a jab with a with a hook to my body. He's gonna do that again. I'm gonna look for it. When he does, I'm gonna plan to hit him with an uppercut. It's it's crazy how we just like you start making plans as a fight is going on. I just, I love battles like that. And sometimes I like to kind of duck and bait the uppercut and do something else. Goes to the body. Such a risky strike he just threw right there. I could have caught that. Double that up. Starting to push me a little bit. Oh my god, he caught that. Beautiful leg kick. They are trading huge Land my own uppercut. Missed that shot. Good shot. He's doing a great job of Again. shots. I think we, we exchanged right there. Under three minutes now here in round two. Good defense. He's looking for it. He's looking for it. Second round, he was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Exchange right there. Oh, heavy leg kick there. You saw the knee buckle. He's trying to go to the body right there. Man, that head kick, he's that that lead head kick he's throwing is such a dangerous strike. Fainting with that throwing the, the that straight punch. uppercut straight now. That's a nasty combo. I don't want to get hit by that. Oh, that cut has really opened up now, Joe. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. He got hit with the left hook. Much improved defensively. Is oh, don't get caught. Right there. <laughs> uh, you got caught. You got caught going to my body. Yeah, we are not going to be going to each other's body tonight. We're, we're, we are reading those ducks a little bit too well. He's reading my ducks. I'm reading his ducks. Anyone that goes to the body is in danger right here. Big kick, but miss. 45 seconds remain in the See him going for the uppercut? Yeah, that dude is... Uh, it's a dangerous guy, and I like the way he's mixing it up. Going to the leg, going to the head, going to the body, goes to the head right there. Starting to push me a little bit as this round comes to an end. Okay, that was a good round. I am definitely enjoying this one. A much better fight than the first one. In that round. Darren Till. I really don't know what I feel about him. I, I have to use him some more. A lot of players don't really give you a chance to completely explore the character because they stand so close to you that you just have to do one thing to keep them off you, and that is start exchanging sways and uppercuts and, and lean strikes. But when there's distance between you and your opponent, then you can explore the character. You can, you know, you can try out stuff, you can throw out creative stuff. But when you're so close to each other, you're so limited on what you can throw. Which is why I, I love, you know, distance fights like this one. I just, I love those so much. And it's all about timing. It's not about luck. It's not about who, who just happens to duck correctly or sway correctly. You know, it's about strategy then. And he goes to my head. He's trying to catch me with head kicks as I come in with the jab. It's going to be hard... As we're both in Southpaw. Really Look at him. Oh, fast. he's hurt. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Beautiful. Damn, that lunge worked right there. Switching stances here. Well, he's playing with starting to blast away at my block now. 
vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it. Dude, it's like you circle, you try to circle, but you're just right back in front of him. So difficult to really create space. Like catch it right there and rock him. Man, that dude is taking some risks. I rocked the dude. I'm trying to see if I can break his block, and he's ducking uppercut me. Which is a very smart thing to do, because if I was to go for an overhand right there, and he lands that uppercut first, even though he's rocked, he could do some major damage. As I rock him again. See what I mean? Oh my gosh. This is a good player. This is a good player. Starting to annoy me with these pushing though. So we're going to stand in front of him. He's going to stand in front of him. Let's do it. No more backing up. Let's see how good he really is fighting from the inside. Effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the early rounds. <laughs> this is so lame. But hey, gotta do it. Gotta do it if that's what they want. Oh, he as I rock him right there. Right there, dropped. Finally got him. Dude, I have all the advantage in the world right now. If this dude is smart, he will stop pushing me. Because rocking him is not going to be difficult now. He has a better chance of winning this fight if he plays that distance game. That, that intelligent game that he was playing at first. Remember he rocked me in the first round? Man, some players don't know their potential it seems. They just don't, they don't know what they're good at. Like you are better at that smart game that you were playing at first bro it, you know the whole standing in front of me game is not gonna work because one of us will just get lucky one of us will simply get lucky as we touch gloves right back to it yep he's right back in front of me so we'll switch to conventional and we'll stand right there Look at the head damage. See that? See my head damage compared to his. Rocking him is not going to be difficult now. I wish he would realize that as he goes for a takedown. As he's rocked again. Dropped. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Keep your distance. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Went for the inside leg kick. There we go. Switches one more oh time. no. This fight's done. <laughs> yeah, this fight's done. Alrighty, here we go. Darren Tell, ladies and gentlemen. I was enjoying I really enjoyed this this fight. Definitely did. Definitely did. He was a good player. He really was. He was using Jorge Masvidal really well, especially in that first round. I mean, his his ability to time those ducks were quite impressive. I really enjoyed that. But um, that is it. That is it with Darren Till. I'm just I'm gonna stop it right here. Stop it right here. That's enough rank for the day. Let me know in the comment section who you guys would like to see next, and I will definitely bring the fighter request to you. As always. I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching. Share the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Keep yourself safe. And have a wonderful day. So there he is, the man they are all still chasing at 170 pounds. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion remains as such and does so by way of the knockout here tonight. A great moment for the corner there as you see them start to celebrate. What an opportunity seized by the UFC welterweight king here tonight.